Hello. In this video, we're going to learn about how to express opinions with modals. Modals include words like can, could, will, would, and several more. With this skill, you'll be able to describe how you feel about a situation in a more precise way. We'll talk about the meaning of different types of modals. Then, in another video, we'll discuss the grammar for modals. In order to talk about modals, the very first thing we'll need to do is define the word verb. A verb is a word that tells an action or state of being in a sentence. Run, walk, think, and be are all verbs. Now we can define modal. A modal is a special type of verb, usually used with another verb that describes ideas such as possibility or advice. Let's look at two common types of modal. First, possibility means how likely something is, such as when we talk about the weather and say there's a 10% chance of rain tomorrow. We could say the possibility for rain is 10%. Modals that express possibility do not all have the same strength or express the same chance that something is going to happen. For example, will is the modal that expresses the most possibility. If you say it will rain, then you're saying there's a 100% chance. On the other hand, the modal could expresses only a small possibility. Saying it could rain means that there is just a small chance of rain. Modals of possibility include in order from most to least possibility, will, must, might, may, can, and could. The second type of modal we'll discuss is for advice. Like with the modals of possibility, not all of these modals have the same strength. For instance, must is the modal that expresses the strongest advice. If you say you must mail the letter today, then you're saying that the situation is very important. Mailing the letter tomorrow is not okay. However, if you use the modal could to give advice, like in the sentence you could mail the letter today, then you're giving less serious advice. It's okay to mail the letter today or tomorrow. Modals that express advice include, in order from strongest to weakest, must, had better, ought to, should, and could. Notice that must and could were also modals of possibility. Some modals can express different meanings depending on the rest of the sentence. So when we say, it could rain and you could mail the letter today, the word could has different meanings. To summarize, we've introduced modals for possibility and for advice. Each of these types of modal can express different amounts of strength. So when you use modals to express your opinions, you can choose the word that gives exactly the meaning that you want. In the next video, we'll learn about how to use modals in a sentence.